morning everyone just wanted to show you I got a little package from Starfruit that they want me to make a review on and guess what that is it is a sterilizer an electric sterilizer I am so excited to review this product uh, most of you know that I am mostly raw in my diet um, I'm not a hundred percent, so I'm not going to claim that I'm a hundred percent raw foodist. No, I'm not. But I do eat most of my intake in foods as a raw dish. Uh, I do dabble in cooked foods that I make, but most of my food is raw. And it gives me an abundance of energy that sometimes I don't even know what to do with it. But Starfruit was nice enough to ask me if I wanted to do a review on a sterilizer. Well, I jumped on it because why? I have a hand cranked one. And I said, you know what? This is probably going to make my life a lot easier. So I said, yes, I would. So I'm just going to open this up. I haven't even opened it yet. It's still in its box. Sorry, I'm taking away all the light from you guys, right? Look at this. Still haven't opened it up. And finally, I said I'm going to do it because my juice fast was over. And now I'm able to uh, actually make it. Because with my daughter and I both on a juice fast, we weren't able to make any foods. I didn't want the food to get wasted. So I decided that I was going to wait for the juice fast. So there you go. Beautiful Starfit Electric Sparalyzer. And I'm excited to crack this open and give it a go. Today I might have, well, my daughter says she wants to do a raw fusion, raw cooked fusion, where she makes a beautiful Thai coconut soup, and then she's going to add the raw zucchini right at the end. So here it is. Look at this. I haven't even opened it up, so I am excited. Never tried an electric one. I've been doing the hand cranking one. Oops. And so I'm excited to try this. Let's see what we have here. There we go. Thank you, Starfruit, by the way. That is so nice of you to always keep me in mind. And I am going to put, I don't even know how to put this together. So we will see. It shouldn't be so difficult, right? Okay, we have something that looks like this. Just going to show you. I guess this is the pounder, I'm thinking. Then we have something that looks like that. We have a clear insert that goes in. There we go. I'm guessing this goes in that way. I'm just going to remove this. There we go. I have to see where the blades go. Here we go. We have a nice catcher. Perfect little catcher that goes underneath. And I'll give you a side view of this. Okay, perfect. And these are the different blades. Wow, look at this. How cool. So, we have lasagna and the thin noodles this is really really nice okay so we're gonna try this and I'm guessing this goes in here maybe I should look at the book there we go we put that piece in first then we put our blade we're gonna use our noodle blade fits in perfect. Then we're going to put this piece on top. Wow, that's simple, eh guys? So I'm going to show you in a minute how it looks. And then we have the piece that we use like a plunger to push our vegetables in. Wow, this is really nice. Okay, and we have that extra piece that you can use if you want to make like lasagna sheets. 
This is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put all of this aside. It's not hard to put together. I'm going to show you again how easy that really was. There we go. You've got your machine. And right underneath your machine, you have your vessel that's going to collect your vegetables. So you're going to put this piece in. And then you put whatever blade you choose. I'm using the noodle blade because she wants to put like, she wants to make like a, almost like a raw fusion um, Thai coconut noodle soup. And then you, uh, put, then you put this piece on that you lock in. I'm going to put all of this aside for now so I can actually show you how this is going to work. I'm excited to try it. So here we go. Plug it in. We have an on off switch here. And I am going to start off with a beautiful zucchini and see how that comes out. Or maybe I'll try first the carrot. Beautiful carrots. Not like a blemish on them. So here we go. We're going to just cut off that end. And if I could get Erica here, she can help me while we show you how this works. I'm excited to try it. Because I know that if I'm using my hand uh, spiralizer, um, I have to find a place where it could grip because it has a little suction cups. But when I'm using something like a carrot, it, uh, it wobbles and I'm always fighting trying to hold it. So I'm hoping with this beautiful machine that it's not going to happen. So I'm going to get Erica and we're going to see how this works. So I'll be back in one second, guys. Now, I'm making mine square. I'm not sure if you even need to do that, but I am going to do it that way. Oh, there it is. Duh. Okay, ready? Oh, wow. beautiful the core should be in there no look up is there a core there's no core look at that oh yeah there's a little core <laughs> how exciting whoa that was fast i'll tell you it would take me way longer to and these are fun if you keep the cores what i usually do is when i have um, the cores of certain vegetables what i do is that i cut them in little bits and i throw them in a bag in my uh, freezer for when i make soups but look at that it took no time at all um I am, and look at that, beautiful, 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 sterilized vegetable. So now we're going to try a zucchini. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. I'm okay. I'm going to use that in my dinner. For my yeah, dinner. I'm doing the, uh, there we go, lock in. Really nice. Wow, that was really fast, eh, Erica? Okay, so here we go. We're going to do the zucchini. This is going to go even faster for sure. So there you go guys how simple was that and you know what the best part is guys this is your new giveaway one of you is going to get to win this sterilizer so don't forget if you want to have a chance you have to comment below share with your friends be a subscriber you have to be a subscriber to be able to win it and don't forget to comment below so this way when i uh, when the uh, the draw is over, I'm able to pull somebody's name. But how great is this little tool? Let me tell you something. I haven't sterilized anything as fast 
as I did with this machine. Very simple and very easy to clean. And there is the delicious zucchini that my daughter is going to have. Now, if you want, you can simply just toss this with a little bit of pesto. You can make one, two, three zucchini for yourself, four, five. This year has hardly any calories, guys, so you could really bulk up in this. You can make a big, big bowl of this. A little bit of pesto, and or you can make a cream sauce if you want with some, uh, maybe sunflower seeds. Uh, a little bit of cashew. You can make a cashew cream. And you can make yourself a beautiful fresh pasta for the summer. And this machine is going to make your life a lot easier than if you had to use a hand crank ones. These are also fun, fun things to do if you want to make yourself a nice little summer spring roll with rice paper. Or like my daughter is going to be doing, she's simply going to put this right into her coconut soup once her broth is done. She's going to make a nice, a nice little Thai soup. And it's going to be simply delicious. So how simple and how easy was this, guys? All I can say is thank you, Starford, for always being there for my subscribers. You guys rock. I love your products. Uh, there's not one thing that uh, you guys uh, sent as a review that I was not happy with. Everything that you sent me to review was just simply awesome. And I have to thank you guys for always being there. And I want to thank my subscribers for always coming by and checking out my video. And one of you is going to get to win this beautiful Star Fritz Sterilizer. And you can maybe incorporate more raw dishes in your diet. Uh, my daughter is going to be doing a beautiful uh, coconut Thai soup. And right after the broth is done, she's going to submerge those beautiful noodles. And she's going to make like a nice uh, noodle Thai soup. So there you go, guys. Thank you again for always coming by. Don't forget, if you want to be part of this giveaway, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. You have to comment below. And if you share, come back. Tell me where you shared it. And your name will go in twice, of course. So thank you again. And good luck to all of you. And start for it. I love it. I can't wait to keep using it. Uh, I'm off my juice fast. Now I can stuff my face with beautiful fresh vegetables. And I'm excited to make some beautiful recipes for all of you so uh, since my daughter I have more zucchini for my daughter I'm going to show you how simple it is to make a beautiful little pasta so if you hold on I'll show you very simple we're going to take these beautiful beautiful zucchini noodles and we're going to put them in a bowl there we go and we're going to take this nice little heart of, since I don't waste, you could take this and maybe cut them in little tiny bits. And this is going to be, since it's almost lunchtime, this is going to be my little snack. I went jogging with my daughter this morning, like we do every morning. Here we go. We're going to put a little bit of pesto. Don't need a lot. There we go. And we're just going to simply toss this. Maybe a little extra pesto. There we go. And we're going to cut a little bit of sun dried tomatoes. Eating raw is really simple and it takes like just minutes. It really doesn't take long, long to make. And again, if you want a premier sauce, you can do a cream sauce just by taking a little bit of cashews, maybe some fresh basil 
and you can make a nice little creamy sauce. You could add a little bit of extra garlic. Oh, and there's our beautiful sun-dried tomatoes. A little bit of cashew grated cheese. And how beautiful is this? If you want to get fancy, you could also put a little bit of truffle oil if you're okay with oil. Some people are not okay with oils. I don't mind a little bit. I try to stay away with a lot of oil, but I don't mind having just a little bit of oil. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dip. I love smoked salt, so I am going to add, whoop, maybe if I remove the lid, I will get some smoked salt. There you go, a little bit of smoked salt for me, and there is a little bit of lunch. So how simple was that, guys? And thanks to Starfruit, you're going to be able to make light dishes like this for the summer, and you're just going to love it. You're going to see the weight coming off. You can actually... Make your noodles this way and replace them. You can make a cooked, you can do fusion. You can cook spaghetti sauce and then instead of using pasta, you can use beautiful fresh zucchini that you can sterilize and you could toss that in some pasta and it is simply, simply yummy, delicious. Low, low, low in calories. You could also use sweet potatoes. There's so many different things you can use to make pasta. But look at this. A little bit, we used a little bit of pesto, a little bit of sun, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of grated cashew cheese, and you have a delicious pasta. You could take this pasta and turn it into a Thai dish, a Thai noodle dish, just by putting, putting grated ginger, a little bit of lime juice, uh, a little a little bit of sesame oil and you can you can make a beautiful Thai noodle dish. So there's so many ways you can create dishes with a zucchini. Again, this is just a small dish to show you. Now, if I'd be sitting down making myself a meal, I'd be eating more than just one zucchini. But just to show you how beautiful these dishes really are and how healthy they are for you. Want a chance to win this beautiful spiralizer that Starfruit was so nice to be able to donate one to you guys. I am so blessed to have Starfruit always supporting my channel and supporting you guys too because they don't have to and they always do send you guys an extra, an extra machine. And with a little bit of magic, look at that. Who says that eating raw could be boring? If I would put this in front of you, you would say, wow, this looks delicious. And you know what? It is delicious. It is raw. It is beautiful. It is full of life. You haven't cooked any nutrients out of it. And like I said, if I would be making, this is great to also serve people that come over to your house. But if I would be making this just for me, I would have about four, five zucchinis on this plate with the same ingredients, except I would eat till I was full. So there you go. Beautiful dish with uh, just a zucchini or two and you can also make this if you have people coming over this could be a nice light lunch for you and your girlfriends sitting outside in the backyard sipping on a nice tea and there you go so good luck to everyone this draw is going to run for it's going to run for two weeks Today with the 16, hopefully I should have it by today up for you guys um, and it should run till the 30th of May um, and then I'm gonna make another video for uh, whoever the winner is if I don't get it up today it'll go till the 31st but again good luck to all of you thank you Starfruit for letting me review such an awesome 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 machine I loved it it made my life that much easier compared to the hand cranked one I had this is a whiz to be able to make delicious food in no time at all. So I'm going to say thank you again and good luck to all of you. And guess what guys, I'm going to see you in the next video and I'm going to go enjoy this beautiful dish while I'm editing your video. So see you soon. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.